What's going on guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I'm gonna go ahead and break some stuff down, man. Um, I had a, a subscriber mention something that he wanted me to talk about. He wants me to talk about a little bit more, go into a little bit more detail about the crime that's going on in Atlanta. Uh, all these break-ins and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna just give you a little bit of insight on what's going on, man, from the data, from a data perspective. And I don't have all of the data, like, specifically, but I do know a couple things that I'm gonna share with you in the city of Atlanta. First of all, you gotta realize in the city of Atlanta right now, crime is about to go up. Now you may ask yourself, well, why is that, Malcolm? How do you know that crime is about to go up? Well, because school is out. Uh, when school is out, what does that mean? And I want you to just follow my follow this train of thinking. Don't look at it as, as something negative. It just is what it is. I mean, well, obviously it is negative. We don't want crime, but um, when school lets out, you got a lot of kids, a lot of badass kids who need something to do, right? Where they would have gone to school, some of them, uh, a lot of them are going to be doing, doing, you know, other shit. And some of it might involve crime. So crime is gonna go up. And if you look at the statistics, I'm sure that you will find that crime does go up during the summer months. Now crime also goes up during the time where you're at work. So what does that mean? So during the summer months, while you and I are at work handling business, that's the perfect time for the criminals to break in your house, break in your car. Breaking in your car is huge. And they do that while you're at work, guys. Yeah, that's that's when they do that. That's where they do that at. <laughs> it's called larceny, I think. Theft. Larceny and theft. Those are going to be... Uh, those are typically two of the of the major problems going on in Atlanta right now. That's where most of the crime comes from, guys. When you see stuff like, oh, that's a very high crime area, da, 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 people start thinking automatically about, you know, armed robberies and, and all this violent crime and stuff like that. Actually, it's not a lot of violent crime. I mean, it is violent crime happening, but a lot of the crime is still categorized as crime. It's theft. I would go so far as to say probably 70%, of, 70, 80% of the crime that happens in Atlanta is theft. If you calculate, if you look at all of it. So that's the thing you gotta be thinking about. You gotta look out for anything that ain't nailed down is getting took in the ATL. And I'm pretty sure that's the way it is all over the country now. Because when you have the haves and the have nots, right? And you have this culture of, I'm gonna flex. I'm gonna put it in your face so you can see it, so you can see I got money. Right? I'm gonna do all these things to let you know that I have money and I'm gonna put it in your face. I want you to feel, I want you to know that I got that I got money. Then yeah, you're gonna get, stuff's gonna get stolen, guys. You know, you, you're leaving your purse in the car, you're leaving a, you're leaving a bag with a laptop on the front seat. Guys, somebody's gonna take that. Somebody's gonna look at that laptop as a blessing. They're gonna say, Lord, thank you so much, Lord. I found me a brand new laptop. And it's an Apple. Thank you, Lord. People just look at things a lot differently, guys. Some people will steal your stuff and then think of it as a blessing. Ain't that something? You might drop your wallet, credit card pop out. The person behind you see the credit card, see that it's yours, look at it and be like, thank the Lord, because we have no groceries. We needed this. We needed this for these groceries. And of course I'm exaggerating. I hope that's not the case, but I mean, what other rationale is there to steal? I mean, you could say, well, hey, when times get tough, that's what people are gonna do. 
And I feel you. I ain't no, you know, you ain't finna sit there and starve. Nobody's gonna sit there and starve. My granddaddy used to always say, if you hungry and you watching a man eat, are you gonna wish him well? Hell no, you ain't gonna wish him well. You're gonna be like, hey, let me get some of that on what's on your plate. If not, I'm gonna have to take. So just something to think about, guys. Just just remember the fact that uh, these summer months are coming up. School is out. These kids are going to be having a lot of idle time. And when I say kids, I'm talking about high schoolers, really. Sometimes they're even younger than that. But a lot of the crime is stealing. And whatever chance folks get, they want to go out and take something. And uh, I wish that wasn't the case. I wish, you know, I, I didn't have to say that, but it just is what it is. It just is what it is, man. I'm going to holler at you guys next time. This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. Anything that ain't nailed down is getting took, guys. Nail it down. Hide it. Put it in a position where it can't be seen. Don't make yourself and your stuff a target. Be smart. Be smart. And don't take somebody's stuff and then get mad that your stuff got took. That's called karma. But I'm going to holler at you guys next time, man. Peace.